extensive writings and expert teachings, Gardner, uh, Brian Gardner this year is being honored as the preeminent legal writing and reference author of the decade. A great honor from a program, the Burton Legal Awards, which has been developed around perfecting and enhancing legal writing. It is my real pleasure to bring back to the podium uh, my friend, uh, Brian Gardner. Brian Gardner.
John Cornyn has just arrived and would like to say uh, a brief word. We are very distinguished tonight, very honored tonight, to welcome a member of the United States Senate, a man who, before he came to, uh, came to the uh, United States Senate, was a uh, district judge in Texas, the Texas Attorney General, and a member of the Texas Supreme Court. Uh, now serving his second term in Washington, Senator Cornyn is a member of the Republican leadership in these important midterm election year. He holds the post of the chairman of the National Republican Senatorial Committee, a man who has dedicated his life uh, as a real champion of the law and the Constitution, and a great friend of Brian Gardner, and he's here even though Brian already got his award to join us this evening. Please welcome Senator John Cornyn. stop by. I, I, I couldn't pass up the chance to uh, offer a few words in support of my friend uh, Brian Garner. And of course the uh, Burton Awards represent our opportunity to recognize excellence in the legal profession. And it's an uh, honor to be here with each of you tonight. Brian, as we know, is still a young man, but uh, has accomplished most more than most mortals do, it seems, in a lifetime. In fact, reading Brian's curriculum vitae has the very real potential of giving the less confident among us a severe inferiority complex. I first got to know Brian more than 20 years ago when I was a district judge, uh, when I went to a judicial writing seminar in, above all, of all places, Laredo, Texas. And Brian and uh, Betty Sue Flowers from the University of Texas uh, taught that uh, seminar. And I saw right away that Brian and I shared a common love of the English language. We also shared other things in common, including an admiration for Judge Tom Reedley of the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals that Brian, Brian clerked for after law school. I've learned a lot from Brian in my own lifetime quest to choose just the right words at the right time, express compellingly with concision and clarity. But as we all know, sometimes we hit the mark and sometimes we miss it. Still with Brian around, it's just a treat to pause for a while and revel in words well spoken or well written and thoughts so flawlessly expressed. His gift though is not just his command of the English language, it is in reminding all of us why we love it too. While Brian's a good friend and has accomplished so much in his lifetime, his greatest accomplishment has been his influence on the legal profession. We all know um, that he's been editor-in-chief of the Black's Law Dictionary now in his ninth edition. He's written more than 20 books, including Gardner's um, Modern American Usage, and last year, Making Your Case, which is written with Justice Scalia and won a Burton Award for Book of the Year in law. But more important than all of this, Brian has dared to unteach lawyers all of the bad writing habits that we learned in law school. Think about that for a moment. You know what I'm talking about. It's using opaque or archaic language so that one sounds like a lawyer, whether or not our audience actually knows what the heck we're talking about or not. It means writing like that in too many law journals, so boring and ponderous and, penetra and impenetrable that only the most determined reader can understand it. Tonight, of course, Brian has, has been named the preeminent legal writing and reference author of the decade. I can't think of a person alive today who deserves this award any more than he does. Congratulations. My friend, thank you.